We now continue our series on the Boys and Girls Club and Pink Shirt Day. This segment looks at their after school program. Boys and Girls Club is a program in our community. We have after school program in eight different locations. Um, we have it at six school locations and then we have one here at our 506 uh, First Street location and our Henry Street location. And we also run a teen program throughout the evening, Monday to Friday, six to eight. Um, and we also have a lot of different programmings in-house that we do with our teens, like Inside Strong, uh, we do mental health, um, we do cooking nights. So there's a lot of different programs within our teen program that we do. As well as our after-school program, um, we incorporate uh, physical activity, health and wellness activities, and nutrition activities. Um, and we also do PD days, we do summer camps, and we do March break camps. And we also do specialty programs sometimes in the evening or weekends. If you or someone that you know is interested in the programming offered at the Boys and Girls Club, stop by 506 First Street East to fill out a membership form. Or check out their website for more information. The Boys and Girls Club of Cornwall SDNG provides a safe, supportive place where children and youth can experience new opportunities, build positive relationships, and overcome barriers. February is a very important month for us um, as Pink Shirt Day is one of our uh, biggest initiatives and biggest fundraisers of the year. Um, and throughout the month of February we do different activities uh, throughout our after school programs that focus on you know, just being kind to one another, uh, being respectful. We also cover different areas of bullying and what they are and what we can do as a community to prevent it. Um, but these are also activities that we do throughout the year. Because uh, February is our Pink Shirt Day month, we do a lot of focus on these activities, but we also want to instill all these skills and morals and values in, in our members uh, to be doing this throughout the year not just in one certain month. It's about us as adults and us as staff and uh, employees for the Boys and Girls Club to really instill the importance in our youth and our children in the programs that being kind is a very important thing. And if we can just be kind and be respectful and uh, do this on a daily basis, then eventually it's just going to be a normal behavior for everybody just to be kind and in turn hopefully will decrease or potentially eliminate bullying as a whole. Whenever we first began Pink Shirt Day, our focus was on anti-bullying and what we can do to stop bullying. And then we kind of sat back and thought, well, what is something that we can do to prevent bullying to begin with? And what we thought is just being a kind human being is something that everybody can do. And the more people are kind and the more people do kind things to others, uh, realistically, there's not going to be as much bullying because everybody's just being respectful and kind to one another. And this is something that we really want to instill in our after-school program members, uh, our, our teen program members, and everybody in the community as well. We've done uh, several different community projects. We've done uh, anti-bullying books before with our after-school program members. We've done PSA videos throughout our schools across Cornwall sd and um, and then we started to go on the kindness angle. So our biggest project was our kindness project that was done two years ago where every single member in our program got to create their own puzzle piece that explained different ways on how they can be kind and things that they can do to others to make them feel better and in turn try to decrease the amount of bullying that goes on in our community. Um, so with that being said, all these puzzle pieces were put throughout our 506 location and it was also about giving our our members a platform on speaking their mind on what they thought that we could do in our community just to be kinder human beings. Um, and then we also did the Youth Booth Project which was again giving our youth a voice on what they thought bullying was and um, how they think being kind can eliminate bullying. I think kindness can be a solution to bullying because it's hard to be mean to someone if they're always kind to you. I think it was, it was great that the members could be a part of this because it gave them a voice and people listened. People watched this, uh, the youth booth especially, um, and they got to hear what our youth voice in our community were and hopefully people just you know take note to what our kids actually think they can do in our community and make it a kinder place. 
Don't forget to support Pink Shirt Day this Wednesday, February 28th. It's a huge day for us, uh, not only to promote uh, kindness in our community, but it's also a huge fundraiser for our program and it allows us to basically take the funds that we raise and put it right back into the programming for our children and youth in the community. So this is a huge supporter for us. Um, we still have shirts, toques and sweaters available. So make sure to get your shirt, your toque or your sweater and wear it on February 28th to be part of our Pink Shirt Day and wear it proud.